Welcome to Penn Air School in Truro, Cornwall, and we've worked really hard since the beginning of 2011 to make our school as sustainable as possible. Penn Air School was built in 1985 for 600 students, but we now have around 1,200 students, so we've had a lot of extensions. Penn Air is on an amazing 50 acre site that we're all really proud of. The oldest part of our building is having a new roof, but we still have single glazed windows and ill-fitting doors. Worse, our electricity consumption had gone up 21% in just two years. So we needed to do something about it and fast. So here's our five point plan for a more sustainable school. At the beginning of 2011, we had tried lots of schemes for recycling and we were growing our own salad and veg, but nothing had really stuck. So we joined Eco Schools and started using their framework. We did an initial review and wrote our first action plan. Nothing too ambitious, but it was a start. Then we went to the Greenest Global Conference at the Eden Project and had our eyes well and truly opened by all the amazing projects other schools were doing around the world. We hosted some Chinese students who recycling really put us to shame. Their teachers just shrugged their shoulders and said, but you are very rich and very lazy. It was really embarrassing. That really spurred us into action and now we have an eco team that meets every Thursday lunchtime. Each tutor group has an eco rep, so all students get a voice. Ours was a paper collection. Each tutor group used to empty waste paper into a huge bin, but it was way over the other side of the car park and people often forgot to empty the bags. It was just a hassle. We have Year 8 ambassadors who help the receptionist at the school entrance, but they often have spare time. So we got hold of some new red bags, put them in every classroom, and now the ambassadors empty them every day. They put them outside the boiler room and our premises team shred it with the other rubbish at the end of the day. This system works really well and is a great example of our ethos. Lots of people doing small things makes a big difference. We realised we could solve a lot more problems this way, so we started talking to everyone. The school council, school management, governors and school assemblies. We met the finance team, the premises team, the IT technicians, the kitchen team, and lots of little issues got ironed out. We started getting to grips with our energy bill too, and one project was upgrading air conditioning in our server room. The old air conditioning was completely maxed out, but the room was still far too hot, and this used lots of electricity. So we worked with the IT technicians and made some calculations based on the savings we could make with more efficient units and used money from Salix to finance it. Across the school, we also installed solar panels, new hand dryers, over 130 LED lights, and an integrated building management system to control the heating and hot water. In a year, we made an incredible 13.5% cut in our electricity consumption. Now that's a big difference. Two big issues have been bugging us from the start. Litter and the use of polystyrene takeaway boxes. Our school canteen offers takeaways because the food is so popular and there isn't enough space in our food hall to seat everyone. Money is tight, so polystyrene is a cheap option, but it just goes straight to landfill. And the seagulls love the leftovers. It's a big problem for all of us. So we needed a big solution. And this is it, a biomass boiler. We now use combustible takeaway boxes, so all the leftovers go into the biodigester, along with a shredded paper, cardboard and green waste from the kitchen. This gets composted into a biofuel, which is mixed with wood chips and burnt in a biomass boiler. This heats our school and our hot water. We used to pay a lot of money to burn gas. Now we get paid to burn our own composted biofuel. It's really amazing, it shows what a massive difference you can make to your school. As you can see, we're really excited about what we've done. We talked to Greg Parker, MP, the Minister of State for Climate Change and Energy, about some of the issues we're passionate about. We are very fortunate enough to get a biomass boiler for our school, but we were wondering how other academies would get the funding. Good question. It's for exactly that reason that I've just launched a new fund with Michael Gove. As you will know, before you do any of those things, the most important thing is to make the school more energy efficient. And we host a sustainability conference for five of our local primary schools to build a legacy for future generations of Penn Air students. Today is our inaugural sustainability conference. We invited our partner primary schools because we know we're all doing lots of uh, good things to try and make our schools a bit greener, but we wanted to get together and share those ideas. 
We are also really looking forward to Greeners Global 2014. We are not so lazy now. And, and now, now you, you can, can do all of this too. too.